Australia, the land down under. Famous for some of its otherworldly assortment of animals and a magnificently unique biosphere. What gets less attention, however, is the equally unique rock formations in the portion of Earth's lithosphere that makes up Australia. One of the most astonishing Aussie land formations is Uluru, dubbed Ayers Rock by the colonial Europeans who came to Australia, claiming discovery of the massive Inselberg when they first stumbled upon it in 1873. Of course, Uluru has been standing for much longer before the British encountered it. But just how old is Uluru, and how did it come to be? Estimated around 530 to 550 million years ago, convergent tectonic plate movement created a mountain range in the plate boundaries that make up Australia today. These mountain ranges were similar to some of present day's famous ranges, such as the Himalayas. However, the top of Australia's mountain ranges of long ago had granite outcrops, which slowly eroded away over time. This continued to happen over millions of years, and slowly but surely, the mountain range was weathered down until there was nothing left, and the granite outcrops that were once at the tops of mountain ranges fell underneath Earth's surface. Here, pressure and more tectonic plate movement turned the buried granite into arcos, which is a typically coarse type of sandstone, extremely hard and high in iron. Then, about 350 million years ago, a second bout of high tectonic plate movement made a second mountain range, bringing the formed arcos back to the surface of the Earth. More millions of years of erosion wore down the softer rock, but the much stronger, denser trunk of arcos from long ago stayed put, sturdy and set in Earth's lithosphere. This trunk of arcos is what we now call Uluru. Uluru's magnificent red color comes from the iron in arcos mentioned earlier, after rusting once it reacted with the oxygen of Earth's atmosphere. And there you have it, the Uluru origin story. And its amazing history doesn't stop there. The Australian Aboriginal people see Uluru as a sacred place, brought about by the ancestral spirits of Dreamtime. If mythical stories interest you just as much as geological ones do, check out the description box below for stories of Uluru from Aboriginal Dreamtime experts. Thank you so much for watching and stay curious.